So what is ERAS or ESR? So ERAS stands for Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, and ESR is Enhanced Surgical Recovery, basically the same thing. But the, the approach is a multi-modality approach uh, between g resulting in excellent outcomes for the patient ultimately. Our main goal is to, how can, to improve our quality of care to our patient. How can we make our, our patients do better uh, when they come for surgery? And what can we do? Where do we start? So why is it important is another question. Certainly for me, for my patients, I want to make sure that my patients do well. I do well when my patients do well. HCA is committed as well to doing uh, enhanced recovery for our patients because that makes our institution look great. So where do we start? I think it starts from the very beginning. Uh, when a patient comes to see me, it's very important to me that I understand and they understand that we uh, understand each other quite clearly what they expect. What are their expectations? What are their options before they go to surgery? It's very important they are educated about that because the emotional side has a lot to do with how well a patient's going to do. So for me, education is very important. I want to meet with them at least a couple times. I want to make sure, bring a friend or a loved one with you that can hear what I say because everybody understands different things at different times and a very small percentage of what I say or any physician says um, may not be, uh, is, is it retrieved and only parts of my discussion are retrieved. So I'll want to reiterate it multiple times in my conversation. What do you expect? What's going to happen before you go to surgery? Um, these are important. So education helps very much to decrease the fear, which helps with your recovery. Another thing, that's the emotional side, but let's talk about the physiologic side. We found that uh, giving patients the day before surgery and anywhere from two to four hours before surgery a clear liquid Ensure drink gives them glucose, which is sugar, and electrolytes so they don't become dehydrated, which helps them post-operatively to get their intestines to function better. So this is something we've incorporated to all of our patients to improve their post-op care. So we also pre-medicate our patients when they get to the operating room before in holding with a non-narcotic medications. So if we pre-medicate them with things like Tylenol, um, Celebrex or an anti-inflammatory, tramadol, other kinds of medications beforehand, they already have that on board. So after surgery, they wake up and they're not in as much pain as they anticipated they would be. And their ability to move, because we want them to walk. So after surgery, you know, we want them to walk, we want them to move around. So these are all things that can help them at the post-op stage. As far as operatively, we found that if we decrease the fluids or limit the fluids in the operating room, they also do better. These are uh, different kinds of studies that have been done through research to find what's the best care that we can possibly, highest quality of care we can possibly give to our patients. So if we give no fluids, not good. If we give too much fluids, not good. If, just like Goldilocks, give the right amount, these patients do so much better. So that is also another thing that we do, as well as stockings that we put on their legs that are compression stockings that automatically pump up the blood to reduce blood clots in the legs. These are all things that we do. Make sure we keep the patient's temperature at normal, even keel, so they're not too cold. So when the patients get cold, they start to get cardiac arrhythmias, which we don't like, you know? Tangos are great in dance floor, but not in the OR. So it's important that we do these things. And once the patient gets out of the OR successfully and there's no problems, they go to the PACU, re post-recovery room. And the nurses know to decrease or limit narcotics, keep them warm, keep them comfortable, before they go to the secondary step down. But all these factors that we do are decreasing narcotics, keeping the fluids stable, making sure they've had their drinks so that they're not becoming dehydrated preoperatively. Um, enhances their recovery, and that's what ERAS is about, enhancing recovery of the patient. It's going to allow them to walk around. If they're not too narcotically out of it, they can walk, which will decrease um, blood clots in legs, DVTs. So it'll also decrease the gas pains that patients have postoperatively, because they're going to be able to walk that gas out of their system. It'll also get their intestines to start working better, 
and it'll decrease the possibility of their lungs collapsing or getting pneumonia. So it's to a benefit all around for all their organ systems to get these things together. So this is a team approach. ERAS is a team approach between the physicians, both the surgeons, the anesthesiologists, all the nurses from the beginning in the, op in the operating room, even in the office my nurses educate, to the pre-op before they go to surgery, interoperatively the nurses there and all the techs, and post-op in the recovery, the PACU, and the secondary step down all along the way. And it also involves the patient understanding what, what's expected of them, what we want them to do, and their family members are also part of the team. So ultimately the patients do better.